So hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also support my small business at LatriceLimited.com. So today we are just going to talk about the tweets that I saw today. Okay. So it actually says, and I'm going to put it up on the screen. Okay. You know how I do. And it says spending 30000 to $40,000 on a wedding and going back to apartment to finance cars is crazy. Okay. So I seen this tweet and I'm like, you know what? Let me go and give my thoughts and opinions on it. Okay. So first off, we have this over here. It says spending $30,000 to $40,000 on a wedding. So this is how I feel about all of this. Okay. Um, spending $30,000 forty thousand dollars is way too much money for me okay i don't know that many people all i know really is my family and i ain't got thirty thousand dollars forty thousand dollars worth of family over here okay <laughs> so <laughs> that just ain't it so for me even spending ten thousand dollars and up is a little too much money okay that's how i personally feel about that so that is just too much money just to begin with. I mean, 30,000, 40,000, 10,000, really. Where we going, y'all? You know what I mean? Because it's like you look at it and you think about it and it's like, okay, what are you really buying? You know, you got these women who spend thousands upon thousands of dollars on wedding dresses. And it's like, okay, you just spent $1,500 uh, $1, on this wedding dress. Where are you going with it? Oh, for my wedding. Well, what are you doing after it? Oh, well, it's gonna sit in the closet for the rest of its, you know, duration. Um, no. Nowadays, you could go to so many different places. Windsor, during prom season, you could get some dresses that, and I almost got one because I was like, yo, this looks good. I was like, Alex, where are you gonna wear that to? You ain't gonna wear this to anywhere, right? But I was looking at it and I was like, yo, this could be the thing that I get. It was a beautiful white lace kind of fluffy dress it was gorgeous this thing was on windsor for like i don't know it was like 70 80 dollars on sale you know what i mean so i'm like y'all could get this easily okay you even got this store called prom girl okay don't get the, don't let the name fool you because there's a lot of dresses on there that are also wedding kind of dresses. They look like you could wear them to a wedding, whether you're the mother mother of honor or whatever, or you are the bride. They have many things on there, y'all. Okay, so there's a lot of different things and different options you can put your fingers in and your toes in. Okay, there's no reason why you spend that kind of money. All right, so the biggest cost really will be food in the venue, but y'all can make that work you know what i mean so spending that much and then you got people who like i need to invite 100 people and it's like y'all come on so with this whole tweet you know i'm looking at it and i'm like i agree with half of it and half of it i don't so they then said um you're going back to a, an apartment okay now you do have some people that yeah i mean you may apartments are not all two bedroom one bedroom hole in the walls you got roaches everywhere okay you have some apartments that are pretty nice like when i say pretty nice i mean like this stuff is real nice like dang how much you spend on this that kind of stuff you know and that's perfectly fine if you want to spend your money on that kind of stuff you know so not every apartment is bad but this is where i also would agree with the person okay when they said you out here financing your car all right now I don't believe in spending a whole bunch of money, that kind of money, 30, 40,000, even $10,000 on a wedding for one day. When you got your car over here, boo, this thing ain't paid off yet. And I don't want to hear no, oh, well, I like to find out you like to just owe people money. Uh, I don't know about that. You pay your stuff off, get your priorities straight, and then you do that. But with the apartment thing, there are people who live in really nice apartments. You know, some people just don't want to own because maybe the military or maybe they're just one of those people that's like, I don't want to hop. I want to hop around. You know, if I want to go to this country or whatever, then lease deuces and then I go over here. You know, so you have a lot of different things and the different things like that. But like I said, I did agree with the whole 30, 40, really $10,000 because that thought you know that's too much ten thousand dollars too much money okay 
and um you know for you to be spending more than that how many people you have in you know for me i'm like okay 30 30 people <laughs> is how much i will personally want i don't need everybody else up in here up in my business looking to see oh what she doing and all this and i gotta pay for you and then your kid and little little tony over here and then you don't show up and then now i got uh uh-uh. less people less problems you know what i mean but those are my thoughts and opinions on this do you i mean how much hey did y'all get married and if you did how much did you pay for it okay i would love to know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments down below and until then